So taking a look at the kit, you can see this first tool, it kind of looks like a file and it feels like one as well. This is to uh, put in the hole and rough it up. The second one are these repair plugs, I call them licorice. And uh, it's a rubbery strip that's a bit sticky. And then you have this needle here and we thread it through there. Now there's a split in the top that we're gonna put that through. And rubber cement and you coat the whole thing in that. That's basically it, easy to do and it's cheap. What I have here is soap and water. And I'm gonna see if it's leaking around the rim. Soapy water, if I have a leak, you'll see a bubble form around here. You can also do it on the valve stem. If in the middle of the stem I see a bubble growing, I know that this stem is leaking, so I can replace that. But uh, I don't think I have any of these problems, but I'm gonna double check, make sure there's only one spot that we need to fix. Okay, so I'm soaping it up and looking for growing bubbles. By the way, when you're trying to locate the air bubbles coming out of your tire, you need to have air in the tire, so pump it up. Now it becomes quite obvious where the hole is. Check this out. You can see all the air that's escaping the tire and making all those bubbles. So I'm going to double check, make sure there's not two. Next thing to do is to take this reamer and it's going to clear out the hole and clean it up. Let's see if we feel any metal in there. I don't, I don't feel anything. No. Yeah, I'm going to let the air out of the tires. It'll make it a little more flexible. And right, now that the air is out, I need to clean out this hole. We're going to ram this in all the way. You're basically stabbing a hole in your tire and roughing it up. Okay, pull this out. So peel out one of these tire plugs and you can see it's, it's pretty sticky already. And then we're going to thread it through this needle and it just goes through the fork in the top. I'm gonna to make sure it all goes in there in between and not like this. See, I have some hanging on the outside, so I'm gonna put it over and I got the whole thing inside like that, evenly. And you only need to use this rasp enough to make sure this hole is clean. So go in and out a few times. Next, we're gonna use this cement. And it's a little brush there. So we'll put that down there. And I'm gonna t uh, glue up all around, make it real drippy. You don't wanna waste your time here. You know, better too much than not enough for sure. And then I'm gonna force this in most of the way, about two thirds. I'm pushing pretty hard. Ugh. Let me zoom in for you. This one's tough. Come on, there we go. Okay, you don't want it all the way in. You want it hanging out, all right? See, it's mostly in, and now I'm gonna pull this out quickly. If you twist it out, you're gonna mess it up. Just pull it out straight and fast, like that. And then we got these little plugs hanging out there. All right, so I'm gonna clean everything up. This is gonna dry and then we'll cut off the rest. I don't know if you have to, but I like to wait a little while before I cut these off. Just using a straight razor blade. And you can cut it flat. You don't have to worry about how good of a job you do. And all you'll have left sticking out is a little lump that looks like some glue. Alright, now I actually have two tires with leaks. So let's see what the difference is on this next tire. And uh, I must have gone through a construction site or something. Alright, we got it. Right here. Uh, looks like a screw. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to pry out a screw. Let's get some vice grips and see if we can twist it out. I'm gonna need some uh, tighter pliers than that. Let me go grab some. Okay, these needle nose come to a real nice point, so that's gonna help me in getting this thing out. You can hear that air is really hissing now. There 
There we go, little booger. By the way, you don't have to take your tire off to do this. <sighs> Putting all my weight down on that. Okay, we got it. Okay, here we go. Quick jerk. We're done with this one. That's it, fill it up and you can double check if you want to to make sure you got it all and there's no air leaking out. So use some soap again if you're worried about it. But I've never had that problem. I figured I'd throw in a little bonus info. You can see there I put on the spare tire rather than put it back because I'm gonna put it on the front. But when you're filling it up, some people don't know this, but it does say what tire pressure on the tire, man. But it's like one of the smallest numbers. There you go, it's focused. You can see the max load, how many pounds. And it's right under here. See that 44 PSI max pressure. That's the number you're looking for. It is, it is small. They really need to make those bigger. Help people out. All right, and best of luck on your repair. Take care, guys. Thank you.